Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So like I posted early on social media, the lovely T holiday gift boxes are officially here. So if you guys are interested in getting a box, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net. They're only gonna be available on the website. Um, there's three different boxes to choose from, like I told you guys before. One is the wellness box, the other is the beauty box, and then the last one is the holiday flavored box. So if you guys are interested in getting any of these three boxes for yourself or as a gift, Make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net. The first 50 orders are guaranteed to get to you before Christmas. We only have a total of 100 boxes because we didn't want to get too many and then not know if they were going to sell out or not. So if you guys are interested in getting a box, once again, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Hey, you guys, welcome to Lovely News Network. And we have a story that's coming from our fifth favorite state, nutty ass New York, okay? Yes, New York, right up there. I need to get a damn pointer. Remind me to get a pointer soon, okay? So anyhow, what's going down is this this story is crazy it's coming from the Bronx and what went down is this we have a young woman she claims that she went up to another woman who was holding her service dog and that she petted the service dog and the woman says something to her like you know kind of flippant like don't pet my dog you know leave my dog alone and so then after that an argument ensued and so they got into it and then um, instead of her letting the argument go her and her friend go to go confront the woman, and the woman ends up slicing her face like a piece of damn meat, okay? This entire situation is just really, really disturbing. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my comments. The slashes across the face of this 22-year-old woman are painful to even look at. She says the pain itself is excruciating. My face is hurting. Everything is just a blur to me right now. Police sources say the victim got into an argument with this woman on a BX-19 MTA bus along 149th Street near Morris Avenue in the Bronx when she reached out to pet the woman's service dog. When I went to go touch it, she got mad. So we ended up having a conflict, going back and forth, arguing. The victim admits the woman set her off with some choice words and things got out of control. I went to go leave the bus because I was going to where I was going. And then she just did something that got me aggravated. So I went back to her and once I grabbed her, by her coat. She went to go hit me when I hit her. I don't know, we ended up going to the floor and everything just went black from there. I got my face sliced and that was it. The victim was left with four different slashes, including the two that dissect her right eyebrow. In this surveillance video, you see her run across the street to Lincoln Hospital after the assault with a friend by her side. This video, released by police, shows the suspect with her dog in her arms. She flags down a green taxi and leaves the scene. Police are still looking for her. Police sources say the victim's friend was also slashed in the arm when she tried to intervene. In the Melrose section of the Bronx, Valerie Castro, CBS 2 News. All right, you guys, you guys just heard that story. All I can do is shake my head. First of all, if you've never been to Nutty, New York, you should know that whenever you're on public transportation, I don't care if it's the bus or the subway, you keep quiet, you don't stare at anybody, you keep to your damn self, okay? You know, New York is not a place where you want to get into an argument with people because you have a lot of folks walking around here with all types of mental illnesses and different things that they're going through, and you never know how somebody may react to a situation. Now, while I feel horrible that this beautiful girl is suffering from these horrible, you know, uh, slash marks on her face, her face looks bad, okay? While I feel bad for her, I have to be honest, she put herself in this situation. First and foremost, I believe this. She shouldn't even touch that woman's dog. At the end of the day, that woman's dog is her personal possession. And just like, you know, somebody's child, you don't come up and just start, you know, touching somebody's child and talking to somebody's child. You also don't just walk up to a stranger and start petting their dog without their permission, okay? I believe that when she petted that dog, the woman basically checked her, like, leave my dog the hell alone, don't pet my dog. And because the young girl didn't like what the woman said, that's when she wanted to argue with her and be big and bad, okay? Now, she admitted in that news clip, that they argued, they went their separate ways, but then she said something in her just, you know, pissed her off, it, you know, something made her just tick, and she ran back and she grabbed the woman. So meaning that you grab a woman that you did not know, you're with your friend who's there too, so the woman was probably scared, who knows if the woman had a mental illness, being that she needed a service dog. So the woman's probably thinking to herself, 
This bride is about to attack me, you know, possibly hurt me. Her friend is there too. And what did she do? She pulled out her knife. And I believe that when she pulled out that knife, she did it in self-defense. She thought that both those young girls were coming up to attack her or do something to her. And that's when she went into attack mode. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's a cold world. And that woman didn't know what these two women could have done to her, especially being that they were already arguing with her on the bus. This should be a teaching lesson to a lot of young girls out there. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes when you go chasing shit, trying to be big and bad, sometimes that can blow up in your face. Literally, no pun intended, okay? Had the girl just petted the dog, and allowed the woman to check her and say, you know what, don't pet my dog and left it alone. She would not be in this situation. She would not have these horrible scars on her face for the rest of her life. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, once they do find this woman, she may not even get any time because again, from her perspective, from her vantage point, she could have seen that as these two girls were coming to attack me because after all, the so-called victim admitted that she ran after the woman and she grabbed her first. So at that point in time, you're not a victim. The woman didn't just jump up, throw her dog on the ground and then just start coming at you with a knife. Like you literally accosted her after she told y'all to leave her and her dog alone. So this entire situation is just really disturbing. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Do you guys agree with me? Do you feel like this victim is not really a victim because she went after the person and she basically pursued them and started the fight? Or do you feel like the one with the knife is all the way wrong for cutting these people? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire nutty ass situation. Once again, coming from our fifth favorite state, Nutty ass New York. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.